بس بس يا دهي Erken uyarı hayat kurtarabilir. Google Android telefonlarla dünya genelinde kullanıcılara deprem uyarısı gönderecek. Uyarı mesajları Android telefonların Google veri tabanında kullanılmak üzere topladığı sismik verilerle elde edilecek. So there's hundreds of millions of people around the world that live near earthquake fault zones uh, and every few seconds of notice that that you can receive can give you time uh, to You know, get off of a ladder or move away from a dangerous object and overall take cover. So if you can get early notice that an earthquake is coming towards you, you can protect yourself. And that's an area where we think Android can help. Erken uyarı sistemleri yıllardır tartışılan bir konu. Japonya, Meksika ve Kaliforniya'da hali hazırda kara tabanlı sensörler uyarı oluşturmak amacıyla kullanılıyor. Bu sayede depremin merkez üstünden uzaktaki insanların sarsıntı başlamadan saniyeler önce uyarılarak kendilerini korumalarını sağlaması hedefleniyor. Google'ın uyarı sistemi etkili olursa uyarılar çok daha fazla kişiye ulaşabilir. So how does this work? Well, Android phones have these tiny accelerometers built into them that can sense earthquakes. And you can choose to have your phone become part of this network of mini seismometers that are looking for earthquakes around the world. Uh, this only happens when your phone is kind of plugged in and stationary so that it doesn't impact your battery. Now, as an earthquake starts to propagate, the phones that are closest to the epicenter, they feel shaking and send a signal to the Google earthquake detection server along with a course location of where shaking is happening. We then aggregate data from many phones to determine if an earthquake is happening and how big it is. Şimdilik sadece Amerika Birleşik Devletleri'nin Kaliforniya eyaletindeki kullanıcılara doğrudan bildirim gönderilecek. Uh, the, the main area we focused on so for for this take action alert, the big alert that you receive, um, you know, it, it's basically those graphics on there that just say drop cover and hold on. Like it's a very simple like drop cover hold, giving you the instructions that that are you know very specific. That like these are the things you need to do right now. Um, there's also kind of yeah a custom sound that was designed to both be unique enough that you recognize it as something that's, that's different than what you're normally receiving and something that, that should get your attention and uh, is able to kind of you know only be specific to earthquakes so that when you hear that sound uh, you can learn that this is an important sound. Telefonlardaki ivme ölçerler çoğunlukla bir kullanıcının telefonu yatay mı yoksa dikey modda mı tuttuğunu belirlemek için kullanılıyor. Android telefonlar ayrıca şu anda depremleri gök gürültüsünün neden olduğu titreşimlerden veya cihazın düşmesinden ayırabiliyor. Sistem Çin'de dahil Google'ın Play hizmetleri yazılımının engellendiği bölgelerde çalışmayacak. One of the things that's very interesting about the approach that Google's using is what we call bi-level alerting, where there's two kinds of messages, what is called a be aware message and then a take action message. And that has a lot of implications. That's a type of alerting that we haven't seen done yet. Uyarı 4.5 ve daha büyük depremler için gönderilecek. Özel bir uygulama indirilmesi gerekmeyecek. Based on my based on my understanding and my knowledge of of other systems around the world, this is the first instance of using the bi-level alerting approach. It has been discussed, believe me, it has been discussed. This is something that we've, we've had many conversations about. And when I started with the USGS over four years ago, this was a topic of conversation constantly. It represents a, a technical uh, challenge that something that we've been really interested in for a long time. As far as the way it's being done and the way it's being approached, This is this is unique. This is something very new, which, of course, is also very interesting from a lot of different perspectives. But beyond being interesting and beyond being innovative, if it's successful in protecting people, then it is a success. Şu anda Google işletim sistemi Android'i kullanan iki buçuk milyardan fazla cihaz var. Sistemin diğer ülkelerde ne zaman kullanıma geçebileceği henüz belli değil.